Alberta's outgoing premier wading into the race for his successor, Jason Kenney panning the idea of an Alberta Sovereignty Act. One of the country's leading conservative constitutional experts uh, has characterized this as the Alberta Suicide Act. The Sovereignty Act, a key piece of perceived frontrunner Danielle Smith's platform for the UCP leadership. It would essentially allow Alberta's government to ignore any federal law it disagreed with, something Kenny says many experts believe would be unconstitutional. And Howard England says that uh, the ideas included in the Sovereignty Act are, quotes, to use a technical term from constitutional law, nuttier than a squirrel turd. But in a statement, Smith pushed back, saying the Premier and other experts should reserve their opinion on this legislation until they can actually read it first. Smith hopes to appeal to Albertans angry over everything from COVID restrictions to the federal carbon tax. Simply put, we need less Ottawa in our lives. And the number one issue I'm hearing from Albertans is, who's going to stand up for us when Ottawa is treating us so unfairly? Alberta politicians attacking Ottawa is nothing new, but Smith's Sovereignty Act goes further than some Conservatives are comfortable with, leaving Alberta's United Conservatives anything but. A Danielle Smith victory today means a Rachel Notley victory tomorrow. Danielle Smith has accused the Premier of meddling in the UCP's packed leadership race. The Premier says he isn't taking sides, and some political watchers say even if he was, it might not help. There's so much animosity within the party, especially the most active members of the party against Jason Kenney. Does his comments against Smith actually backfire and help her? If Danielle Smith wins the UCP leadership and becomes Premier, she says she might want to make the Alberta Sovereignty Act law by the fall. The question for Conservatives is what that might mean for the party's fate in the next provincial election in the spring. Aaron Collins, CBC News, Calgary.